Yeah, man. Dope, dope, dope. But you're listening to the Uncensored Truth Podcast with your brother, Old God, and Sam. And yes. we got to jump right into this one right here. But before we do, go ahead and hit the like button and share the video. Definitely help the content circulate and get up where it needs to go. Plus, it's free for you. All you got to do is push a button. But right. let's jump into this one, man, because this one's hot right here, man. We got to talk about this. We were the first people to actually say this to each other. I, th- I don't know if I hit you or you hit me, but I was like, yo, uh, I think I told you, like, Jay Dimiase dropped the album. He's about yeah, to go out that you night. Yeah, you just hit me you know what I mean? Right. And I walked in the crib and, um, you know, and I think you said it to me. He was like, yo, it's just kind of come at Nas. Nas just dropped his joint, you know, 48 hours prior, I think it was. And, you know, why would they do that? Especially if they was cool. That's like, if I, you know, me and you cool and you drop your project and it's anticipated, then I just drop my shit. Nobody knows about it. Mm-hmm. Not to say, I mean, we can't, you know, not to say that they're that cool. Right. But still, it kind of, it, it brings up the question. Sam, man, what do you think? Do you think that, that Jay-Z and Beyonce directly did this to come to, to uh, uh maybe, you no, know, Jay-Z still bitter from Ether. What do you think about that, man? Jay-Z still bitter from Ether. I think that's funny. <laughs> maybe from a competitive standpoint, yeah. But it's like, I, if I'm not mistaken, it was 24 hours. Nas dropped June 15th. Oh, 24. Fucking June 15th. Dude, yeah. We went out Saturday night, June 16th. Boom, here's an album. So it was less than 24 hours where they did it. And we're in such a day and age, and shout out to Tidal, and we'll get into Snoop Dogg talking about that in a minute, but shout out to Tidal because it's such an awesome streaming service to where you just have an abundance of music sitting right in front of your lap. So the second you told me, it was like, all right, we go out and do our thing real quick, and we turn on turn on the joint. It's right, right here. It's right, right in front there. of us. So we get to listen to the body of work and kind of compare it, and we were sitting there, and I was thinking like, damn, this is, why would he do this on, on this day? Why would he do this today? It's kind of throwing shade. Throwing shade, maybe. But I think it may be competitive shade in a way of, yeah, I'm going to put my music out to compete with yours when it comes to numbers and comes to what was his going to hit number one as opposed to number two. But I don't think it's going to hurt Nas. And I don't think Jay-Z and Beyonce were trying to do that because of the title of a situation where you can put it on stream and be in a situation where you can listen to all these music and body of work. We don't have to go pay $15 per CD now. You can sit there and pay $11 a month and get it all. So I don't know. Well, it might have been some competitive shade, but I don't think he's trying to take money. I mean, no pocket. matter how you back, no matter how anybody tries to articulate it, man, it is what it is. He, it's like throwing shade because mm-hmm. you could have you could have dropped it at any other time. That's just my opinion, of course. You, and you could have been any other time that it could have been dropped. My, I would like to ask these, you know, Jay Z, Beyonce, why now? Mm. Or maybe they're thinking shit. Hey, we was gonna drop it whether Nas dropped his, you know, or not. But it just you know, it, it happened twenty four hours after Nas dropped his, so it definitely leaves it up. You know, for us to think like, you know, uh, um, but again, like you made a great point too. like everybody's still going to do numbers. But I am. This is what I ask you. Who do you think is going to do more numbers? Because you got Nas, but then you got Jay-Z and Beyonce. I think they'll do better Both numbers, problem. but I don't know if they're the better body of work. Hmm. So you think, think Nas album is better than Jay-Z? Jay-Z that's pretty good. It's decent. It's, it's good. It's dope. But what, I will, bad, what right? I will say, I'm the kind of listener that has to live with an album for a while. So Nas's album was fresh. I, I streamed the um, Beyonce Jay Z album immediately. I had it. I, I gave a real quick listen to it two, three times to listen to it. It was dope. I think it's like nine or ten songs. Not that long. It was dope. Dope. But then I, I'm still listening and diving in so hard into the Nas album because it's such a, a dope body of work. And I hear a lot of people giving it its, it's classic stamp. And then I hear people saying three point five mics out of five. Yeah. In my opinion, coming back out. For Nas not having an album in such a long time, it was real excellent, dope body of work. I don't know if it even trumps Daytona yet because that was such a classic album. But does it beat out Jay-Z's album? In my opinion, Jay-Z and Beyonce's album is a real dope, smooth kind of vacation joint. You out your lady, you out here chilling, grown and sexy. I don't think he was trying to deliver because I don't think he was trying to deliver the bars to kind of compete with a, a Nas. He addressed the situations. He addressed everything that's going on currently. And it was dope to hear him and Beyonce kind of do their collab thing, i.e. the best of both worlds back in the day with Jay-Z mm-hmm. and R. Kelly. And then you had your Watch the Throne with Kanye and Jay-Z. He's kind of throughout time did these classic collaborations. So it, it's it's a breath of fresh air to hear throughout the summer all these just great music and body of work coming out. But in my opinion, right now, Nas's album is better. Mm. Yeah. I'm not going to give my opinion. I'm going to give it some more time. And again, I, I got to agree with what you said about as far as, you know, um, you know, uh, um, Jay Z really not putting it out to really compete with anything. He's just kind of just doing his thing. Right. Little, little couple one liners here, not a lot, and just doing his thing. He could have took it up, you know. Uh, so yeah, man, it, it, it's still good for hip hop. And I think Charlamagne and God, he left a, a tweet today, and he pretty much said like the forty plus year old rappers, the Pusha T's, the Jay Z's, the Kanye's, uh, uh, um, you know, the Nas's, they they putting out great body of works, you know, compared 
to the younger cats. They still doing their thing at an old age, and Jay Z's damn near fifty. But they just making the summer come out and just make it so it's gonna make it so much better because just you could throw on your 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 playlist right now, like you said, your Daytona. Shout out to Royster Five Nine, Book of Ryan, yeah. the album that slept yeah, on right he now. He said that too. Yeah, dope ass yeah. album that's out there going doing this thing right now. And then you have all of Kanye's produced the big albums. boy too, right? Big boy, yeah. You know what I mean, that was I think that was last year, but he dropped a real classic right. body of work. Right. So it's just real refreshing to see the hip hop that we grew up on, to know and appreciate, still out here sustaining longevity because we know we're in a here today, going today society. And that's a shout out to us, the people that's real fans, keeping our people alive, the real music, the real rappers. And shout out to the Kendrick Lamars and the J Coles coming up right behind them keeping it alive as well this is the music that will stand forever i think kanye west and i wanted to say this on anything he dropped he has timeless records on every oh, yeah. album he produced this year on daytona on on the um the kids versus kids see monsters the kids he goes to him and cuddy his his album Nas album he has timeless records on all of these albums so far man shout out to kanye Right. Yes, sir. But you're listening to the Uncensored Truth Podcast with your brother, Old God and Sam. And everybody listening, we want to implore you to please go up top, hit the like button and share this video. And it takes a few seconds to do. And all you got to do is push your fingers and it's free. I want to um, jump right into this.